My husband and I are gonna do Korean barbecue date night tonight, which means we're gonna go to H Mart, get all the ingredients we need, and then cook or grill the meat on our indoor grill. Uh, rice is cooking. I have a rice cooker here. It'll be done in 48 minutes, which will be perfect because we still have to go to H Mart, get all the ingredients and come back. So let's go shopping for everything we need. Look at how wicked the sky looks tonight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so pretty. You want to take a bath with me? Um, yeah, I think you're right. That still should be fine. Cold noodle. Red leaf lettuce. Spicy one. Is that pork or beef? Marinated beef. Okay. Huh? Oh yeah, we can get that one. This one? Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna try this. I've never had this one before, but it sounds delish. Pork ones. Grab some pork ones. Unless you have a different preference. Beef. Nice. Kimchi. This is getting heavy. <laughs> Just got back. Rice is done. Looks good. Oh, <laughs> there we go. All right, this is everything we got. We have rice, obviously, already. I got some cold noodle. Um, I don't think I can have this tonight just because we have the rice and everything, but I am going to make this this weekend. I'm excited. For meat, we got our faves. We like the marinated beef hot bulgogi, and we do the ribeye roll. And then the pork, this is marinated pork, sliced, single ribbed belly, also spicy. Um, some red leaf cabbage. This drink is mine. This bubble tea, brown sugar with tapioca. Gable got a Coke in glass bottle. And then we also picked up some pork gyoza. I think, do you want me to cook those in the pan or do you want to? No, we can put them on the grill. Just I'll... heat them up in the microwave or something. Okay, we'll put them on the grill then. Some kimchi. I ran out, so I need kimchi. And then we did stop at the Paris Baguette and got this cute little shamrock donut. And this was cream bread is what they called it. It says that there's custard in it. So looks yum. Oh, and then <laughs> uh, the ice cream. This is a frozen wafer sandwich. Looks yum. And then this caramel pudding frozen dessert bar. Yum. I'm so excited. We haven't done K-Barbecue Night in how long? Um, I don't know months month. also i did change my outfit to something that's not gonna <laughs> get ruined if the meat splatters all over it so let's get to cooking here's our little setup in the kitchen we have a grill we bought this from h mart but they do sell it on amazon so i'll link it below and then the beef pork belly is on here already lettuce i got some rice some kimchi this is gochujang sauce i believe is what it's called it's like spicy spicy cocktail sauce is what it says love that and then i do have a moshi i love the sparkling yuzu unsweetened flavor in addition to my bubble tea i just feel like a carbonated beverage is good with the meat scissors to cut the meat um gabriel's side rice kimchi he also has a moshi he loves this one, the red shiso and apple. Super good. And the Coke. So we're gonna cook the meat and watch a movie. Woo! Hmm. I'm gonna try the bubble tea. I think it has boba in it. Mmm. It is good. Tastes like boba. But I'm not getting any pearls. I feel like I'm gonna have to. I'm only gonna get them at the end. <laughs> I'm not getting any of the pearls. <laughs> Ooh, maybe a boba straw? I'll probably use a straw. Gabriel's like, why don't you just pour it into a cup? <laughs> mm. I would give it. Mm. I don't like the boba pearls. I feel like it's hard to make those ahead of time. Um, but the tea itself is good. So I'd give the tea, mm, 
it's good. Seven out of ten. Boba. Two point five. Wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. I've been craving kimchi. I like to do the sauce. Sauce it up. Yum. Oh my gosh. Look at how good that looks. The first bite. I don't know like if I'm doing this <laughs> doing this way, I just roll it up like a taco and then take a bite. Mm-hmm. One thousand out of ten. This is a pork belly. Looks so good. And then Coco begging. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have dessert now. I'm gonna do this caramel pudding ice cream bar. Or as Gable keeps calling it, the flan one. The flan one. The flan one. Oh, oh my goodness. This is that waffle one. So cute. It's like a little <laughs> waffle to go box. This one definitely looks caramely. Yum. Let's see what. Ooh, cold. It's <laughs> not good. No, it's really good, but it has like a, you know what? It definitely tastes like a boba, like Thai milk tea. Definitely gives boba well, tapioca. Or something in there. Chunks of something. Yeah, you see how it's like ice cream and then chunks. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Jello in there. That's what it is. That's what that is. It's Jello. Mm-hmm. That's what's the. That's what the caramel. Yeah, it's almost like it has flavor. caramel flan pieces or like boba pieces inside. Yeah. It's not tapioca though, because it doesn't. Mm -mm. Texture is not tapioca. I have no idea what it is. That one's good. It's a cool texture. I'm a fan. This is, can I see the package for this mm -hmm. one, please? Frozen wafer sandwich. Looks like, what, what would you say? A waffle cone, basically, mm -hmm. stuffed with vanilla ice cream. Mmm, there's chocolate too. Yum! I didn't even see the the um chocolate coating. This one's good. It's really good. <laughs> you like the waffle cone? Nice. I like the waffle cone way more. <laughs> the caramel one. I think the pieces are just weird. It tastes a lot like boba, though, mm -hmm. doesn't it? It tastes like a lot like boba. These are really, really good. I would buy these again. All right, that's it for our Korean barbecue night. If you have any H Mart recommendations or K barbecue recommendations, drop them in the comments below and I will try them out next time we go. Thank you so much for watching. Got a blast.